I have a website that sells courses. Now one of the users is logged in, but the person hasn't signed up for any course. Now if the person clicks on this menu here, get the free course, then there's a nice subscription form. Subscribe and get free access to our premium web design course. Let's subscribe. And after that, two things happened at the same time. First, as you see, this is a person demo one. Number of enrolled groups or courses is, was zero, but if I refresh the page, the person has been automatically subscribed to this course. This was the first thing that happened. And at the same time, second thing that happened is that the person has been subscribed to my MailChimp list, this one here. Now, if you think that setting this up is difficult, then actually it's not. It's going to take only a couple of minutes. And in a similar way, you can integrate basically every WordPress form with more than 200 third-party services. Now, let's jump in and take a look how to set it up. First things first, we need to install a plugin called Bit Integrations, the one you see on the screen right now. Currently, it has more than 5,000 active installations and only five-star reviews. I'm using it on multiple sites and it works well. It has a free version and it has a pro version. The main difference between the free and pro version is that free version allows you to create only one integration, while the pro version offers unlimited integration capabilities. If you just need a one integration, then use a free version. But if you need more, then the pro version is a way to go. As I said a minute ago, currently it has more than 200 integrations. And if you open it up, then you'll see that bunch of stuff here. ConvertKit, Contact Form 7, Breezy, Elementor, Card Flows, Dropbox, so on and so forth. If you want to know whether the service you need is here, just come and take a look or use the search box here. Now, if you wonder how much does it cost, then currently pricing for one site is $29. For five sites, it's $69. And for agency, it's $99. There is also a lifetime deal. So for one site, it's $99, $299 for five sites, and $499 for unlimited sites. Those are the current prices with a 25% off. But if you take a look at the description of this video, then there is a nice 20% discount coupon that you can use later when the sale period is over. Okay, now when the money talk is out of the way, let's go and set it up. First things, go to plugins, add new plugin, search for bit integrations, install and activate it. And if you're using pro version, then after installing the free version, you also need to install a pro version that is upload the plugin, install and activate it. After that, you'll see bit integrations menu on the left. Click on all integrations menu here. I have set up two of those. I'm going to deactivate so I can show you how to create integrations. If you're using a pro version, then you need to connect your site with your account. I did it already, so I can't show you how to do that, but it's fairly simple. Just click on the link, log in, and done. Under the settings, there are only two things, whether to erase all data when deleting the plugin and specify how many days old blogs will be deleted. Nothing else here. Okay, now let's create the integration. Click on this button. First, I have to select the trigger. What is a trigger? And for my site, trigger is this form. If someone submits the form, then something has to happen. So submitting the form is a trigger. I'm going to search for a form. As you see, 21 different forms here. I'm looking for a forminator. This is a plugin I'm using for the form. And currently, I have a newsletter form here. Just a simple form with two fields, first name and email address. Now I'm going to select the form I'm going to use. That is the newsletter form. I'm going to click on next. And now I'm going to select action. What is action? If someone clicks on the subscribe button, this is a trigger. And the action is what is going to happen after that. I'm going to send the information to the specific list in my MailChimp account. That is first name and email address. So I'm going to search for MailChimp, this one here. Next, I have to connect my site with a MailChimp and I need to add a client ID and client secret number. To get a client ID and the secret key, I'm going to visit the MailChimp API console, this one here. I already created one, but if you don't have it, then click on the register an app button, give it the title, 
for example, Forminator demo, some description here, company name, app website, that is this address here. Paste it here. I'm not going to upload any logos, but I'm going to add a redirect URL that is this one here. Let's paste it. Let's create it and done. My client ID and my client secret. Let's copy the client ID and paste it here. The same with a secret key. Paste it here. Now I'm going to authorize it. I have to log in and click on the allow button here. It takes a couple of seconds. Now it says authorized. I'm going to click next, select the list. I don't have any tags, so no, I'm not going to select any tags, but I'm going to map the fields. That is first name from my form field is the same with the name field in MailChimp. I'm going to click on the plus button and do the same with the email address. And done. I can select whether to add the address field, activate the double opt in, or update responses with MailChimp existing audience. I don't need to do that, so I'm going to click on next. Successfully integrated, finish and save, done. And this one here is activated. Now I'm going to test it and see whether it works. I'm going to refresh my page. I'm going to add my name, demo2. Let's add the email, subscribe, open up the MailChimp audience dashboard. Now it says I have two contacts. Let's view those and done. So it works. Next, I'm going to create an integration between Forminator subscription form and LearnDash. I have a LearnDash installed. I have two courses here web design course and another course, I'm going to create the free access to this web design course. Once again, I'm going to go to the bit integrations, create integration, search for Forminator, select the form, click on next, search for learn dash, this one here. Now I'm going to cl click on connect button. It checks whether the learn dash is active. And it says it's connected. Now let's click on next. And under the selections, I'm going to select what's going to happen after the submit button on the format has been clicked. Whether to create a group, add the user to a group, or whatever it is, I'm going to enroll the user in course. Next, I'm going to select the course and done. Now pay attention that some integrations will only work for logged in users, and this is one of those. That is for logged out user. It doesn't work. Now, under the conditional logic, I can select the form fields. For example, if the first name equals Jack, then what's going to happen? Whatever the conditional logic is, I can set it up here, but I'm not going to do it right now. Instead, I'm going to click on Next and click on Finish and Save. Now, let's make a final test. I'm going to delete this contact. There is only one address here. And now I'm going to open up my private window. I'm logged in as a demo one. So let's test it. Demo one as a name, email address, another demo at demo.com. Let's subscribe. Let's refresh the contact page in MailChimp. Email is here. Awesome. And if I open up the users, the user called demo one has an access to the course. If I open it up, to verify, well, there it is. Can't get any easier than that, isn't it? Now, in a similar way, you can create all sorts of integrations between your site and other plugins. For example, create integrations, search trigger as a WooCommerce, select the task name, for example, if product has been created, then, and now choose what happens. For example, then add the information to the Google Sheets, this one here, and add the information to the Google Sheet. Or if the order has been created, then do the same. Now I have created another video about the bit integration, which covers some additional topics. So if you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now. There is a video I made earlier. In the meantime, take care.